there are the Gators starters. Before we begin action this morning, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Florida Volleyball on the Gator Sports Network from Learfield. WRUF Gainesville, U251CG Gainesville. From the Spurrier's Gridiron Grill Studios, we are ESPN 98.1 FM, 8.50 AM, WRUF. Tom Collette, Dr. Josh Crow with you for this unique morning match between Georgia Southern and 16th ranked Florida. The opening match of the Sunshine Invitational. Florida will play again tonight at 7.30 against Florida Gulf Coast. You can listen to that one right here where you're listening now. And then tomorrow at 4 o'clock before the football game, they will play Virginia Commonwealth University. A lot of people just make the abbreviation VCU. Josh, your initial thought on this early morning match, early uh, wake-up call for the broadcast team. Well, I had to think uh, back to last weekend's matchup in NCAA football against Western Kentucky and Hawaii. Mm. Western Kentucky flying all the way out to the islands to play, and we're essentially playing at midnight. And uh, didn't have any effect on them, it looked like, in that score, but still, playing early morning matches, especially when it's one of many, this is not the, the sole match that the Gators can prepare for, will be interesting. And when you throw in, as you heard from both coaches, Georgia Southern's ability to work the ball around. I use the term beachy, a lot of shots. Um, I think it'll make for an interesting challenge to start this morning off for the Gators. Callaway Kaysen will serve to our left for Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern wearing the all-blue uniforms with pink accents, white numbers, and lettering. Florida with three and serve receiver underway as the old Miss transfer puts the ball in play. Stucky will go to the middle. Essex, it's dug up. Nice libero move by Lovett. Back near the end line, sent across a free ball opportunity for Florida, played by McKissick. Gators go to the middle again, and this time Essex drills one into back right. A diving effort made by Paige Powers, but couldn't come up with it. In most cases, you want to establish your middle right off the bat anyway, but particularly when you have a size or physicality advantage over your opponent. We're seeing Florida do that now with Bree Kelly out of the middle. Serve forthcoming for Ellie McKissick now for the Gators. Her serve is in play. Pass made, far side, Jerome. Out to the middle, and the lefty takes a swing. That's Rosser. Gators will play it up. Sent across by Stucky. Fists the ball across. Played up by Lovett. To the right side, they go to the lefty. Again, Robin Rosser from the right. This time, the lefty right side hitter for Georgia Southern misses. It's 2-0 Florida. Rosser showing how dynamic of a hitter she is. She's set up in serve receive over at the left side. She has to do that because of the rotation, so... Georgia Southern moves her into the middle for the first contact and then over to her home at the right for the rest of the rally. Three and serve, receive four. The Eagles shank pass by Powers. They get the ball across. It was Jerome. Gators play the ball up. We'll go to the outside to Sophia Victoria. Her first look, angle shot good for the kill. It's 3-0 Gators after the Sophia Victoria kill. Smart look for Victoria at the left pin. Nice, easy swing. Not a whole lot of heat, but spotting the ball right on the Georgia Southern sideline. Jerome left, middle. Can't see the number. On the right is Lovett in serve receive. Here's the serve. Pass made. The pass is made by Powers, who was in the middle. To the outside to Jerome. Roll shot. Stucky got a hand on it after a contact. All the way out to the left antenna off the net. Victoria, it's dug up by Lovett and back left for Georgia Southern. They go to Jerome off the Gator blocker's hands, played up by Stucky. McKissick off the forearms, out to Victoria, and Victoria misses one long. Looks like she tried to get the touch on high hands. A few Gators trying to get that call, but... From where I'm sitting, it looked like it was a good six inches over the hands of the Georgia Southern block. Emily Jerome, the outside hitter, graduate student from Towson, played her first four years of college. Here's the serve. Top spin serve is in the net. Almost hit the up official Michelle Prater. Service error, it's 4-1 Florida. With both of these teams playing opponents that they're unaccustomed to as far as style, so much of this early first set is going to be who will make the adjustments faster, Tom. Merritt Beeson out today in street clothes for this morning match. Here's Rhett Robinson serving in her place. Great serve. Pass made. Love it. They go to the middle. The middle just taps it across. Had to drop the elbow. Gators will get one out to the outside. Sophia Victoria with the off-speed shot. And it's a net violation called against Georgia Southern. Called against number 21. That is Paige Powers. 5-1 Florida. And as you said in your call there, Tom, Kaysen a little bit low on the one ball. Quick set out of the middle. Forcing an adjustment. Made an easy play for the Gators. Rhett Robinson serves again. Nice serve pass. Far side, Paige Powers. To the right side, the lefty Rosser down the line. Tug up by McKissick. It goes across the net, though. Sent back with two hands. The Gators will play it up, though. Gators will go to the middle. Bree Kelly, partially blocked. Played up by Kaysen. Out to the right side to Rosser. Off hands. A stick save by Canan. She got one hand on it, the lefty. 
Sophia Victoria bumps it across. Free ball for Georgia Southern. To the right side, Rosser again. They're making it a point to go heavy to Rosser on the right side, the sophomore from Charlotte. And fast as well. Georgia Southern trying to run the middle just enough to catch Florida's attention. And then when they're able, throwing the ball quick set behind to the lefty, and her being a lefty makes it even faster to take advantage of that block in the seam. Excuse me, seam in the block. Here's the serve for the libero for Georgia Southern wearing the white contrasting jersey. Her serve is in play by Lovett. Gators go to the slide play, and Bree Kelly rips one down the line for the kill. This is another one of those shots as an introductory slide. Kelly took a bit off. Just roll shot, middle back, caught some high hands on the block. Just warming up that contact against this Georgia Southern block. Trinity Adams checks in for Florida. We also see Bertie Hendrickson, who came in last rotation to play in the back row after Robinson served. Here's the serve for Adams. Pass made from her knees out to the outside. It's the first look for Paige Powers, and she's got the kill as the Gator block touched it. And so far, the Eagles are undaunted by the Florida block. As we heard in some of the pre-match interviews, they're going to look for shots, but right now those shots are fast-paced. Outside of the block for the tool, high hands, swinging away through the seam. Very high-powered so far. Meredith Eckerd serves left to right across your radio dial for Georgia Southern. Gators run the slide play. Bree Kelly took a little bit off, snap of the wrist on the angle shot. Eckerd got a hand on it, but it went over my left shoulder over here on press row. Florida 7, Georgia Southern 3 after the Bree Kelly kill. Here's Bree Kelly now serving. She is the middle of the two middles who will serve for Florida. Serve in play. Pass far side, Jerome. Slide play for Georgia Southern. Off the net. Underwood. It's dug up by Florida. Second contact, Bree Kelly. Markova is in the match for the first time, and she makes her presence known from the left pin. I mentioned earlier one thing you can do when you outsize your opponent is to run the middle. And be fast about it. The other is to throw it to the 6'5 outside hitter and just let her feed. And here we go. I guess she's got her regular jersey now. She wore 22 for the first five matches of the year. Now she's number 11 as Markova as Georgia Southern goes to the outside. Powers is dug up by the Gators and back left it was Hendrickson. And a kill for Florida for now again I said number 11 Marina Markova. <laughs> Just in time for you to change all of your spotting charts I to know. 22. <laughs> I kept the old ones so I'm sitting just fine. But a crafty roll shot over the top of the block right back to the Eagles court. Smart ball by the transfer outside. Markova had a match high 15 kills against Minnesota for the Gators. Slide play again. Gators blocked it. There's Markova blocking the slide play at that right pin from Georgia Southern's Grace Underwood. Florida 10, Georgia Southern 3, forcing a timeout for head coach Chad Willis of Georgia Southern. Each team allotted two timeouts in each set. So the first one here called of the morning match here by Chad Willis of Georgia Southern. We'll step away as well with your score here in the opening frame of the Sunshine Invitational from Exact Tech Arena at the O'Connell Center. Florida 10, Georgia Southern 3 on the Gator Sports Network from Learfield. dynamic team back to you fourth serve in this turn for Bree Kelly three and serve received for Georgia Southern pass made and back left by Jerome bumped high in the air by Eckert from back right a swing on the outside for Paige Powers and the kill for Paige Powers Gators touched it on the block diverted it away from the Florida back row defenders it's 10-4 those are the types of shots that as the match wears on I think the Florida defense and the block, as we mentioned just a second ago, will get a little bit better feel for and make adjustments too. And then can Georgia Southern keep up the pace that they've put out so far? Rebecca Farthing checks in, a short serve. Markova plays it in front left. Gators go slide play. Essex is dug up and back right by Eckerd. To the right side, Gators will block Underwood, but a great block cover. Out to the left goes Georgia Southern. That was Jerome. Stuckey will now send one to the right. Antenna, well, there's Bertie Hendrickson on the block cover on the block of Essex's slide play. And a kill for Markova as she powers it through. A smaller 
Callaway Kaysen, the setter there at the right antenna. Well, speaking of Kaysen, she just showed her IQ in that last play. The Gators ran Gabby Essex on the slide, meaning all of Florida, except for one, were over at the far side of the net. What does she do? She set behind to try to get the one-on-one -on -one with Markova. Markova was up to the task. Alexis Stuckey forces the overpass with her serve, and Markova is there to bury it with two hands. Speaking of up, I can't believe the block reach on Markova just with a little hop there. She's not swing blocking. That ball was almost directly over her base position, but she's got such long arms. 12-4 Florida here in the opening set. Serve for Stuckey. Wow, what a great serve. Pinned Eckert to the sideline. She made the pass. Excuse me, that was Farthing. They go to the outside and get the kill from Jerome. Does Georgia Southern. Florida 12, Georgia Southern 5. Emily Jerome might only be 5'11", but she puts a lot of pace on that ball. Has a heavy arm. Took advantage of Rhett Robinson just a little bit inside the block. Down for the kill. Serve for Grace Underwood. Beyond the end line, left side back. Pass made by Markova. Over the net it goes. And it's uh, either 7 or 13. What do we have? A net violation? I believe it's called a net violation on number 7. That would be Emily Jerome. Yes, a net violation. It was shaking pretty good, Josh. Chad Willis, the head coach for the Eagles over there, giving a stern look to the down ref, Andy yeah. Martin. But not pulling out the green card for a challenge. Maybe not wanting to waste it so soon. Serve for Emily Canan, who already has one unbelievable save from the back row defense. This one sails long. It's 13-6 after the miss there for Canan. You could say the ball never lies, but in uh, response to the net bouncing, as you said, the ball came down directly on top of the net. Mm -hmm. It was hard to tell if it was the ball or one of the player's arms. Callaway case in the transfer from Ole Miss serves the setter for this Georgia Southern team. Now you say the ball never lies. What happens when you follow an error with an error? I, I don't know how to do, do, is it like a double negative? They cancel out? I think you're right. <laughs> we're back where we were. Florida eight point lead at 14-6 here in the opening set. Here is Ellie McKissick serving, right to left. Pass made, back row farthing. Out to the outside, Jerome against two, tries to go down the line around Robinson and misses it. And again, I mentioned the heavy swing of Emily Jerome. She's got a nice fluid arm. We talk a lot about the Gators making adjustments to their opponent, but we're seeing Georgia Southern work on that, and when it does start to click, that's a lot of heat from the pin. McKissick serves past Lovett to the right side. This is tapped across by Jerome, and the Gators block it back, but can't block it back effectively. So the point and the kill goes to Jerome. And it's 15-7. Gators lead is back to again at eight. Serve forthcoming from Jerome. There's that jump serve. It's a bullet past Canaan. Set to the right side. Brett Robinson angle shot. Dug up and back right by Kay Kaysen. The lefty Rosser takes a swing, then fists it back across after the Gators blocked it. Out to the outside. Victoria taps it across. A pancake save for Jerome, but Florida's in the net. Called on Victoria following through after the tip. All of the Eagles immediately on that whistle since it came right after the pancake. Their head snapped to the down ref thinking that he was calling the ball dead on Georgia Southern side. Serve for Jerome and here it comes. What a bullet. It's in the net. Service error. It's Florida 16. Georgia Southern 8. Service error number 3 here in this opening set for Georgia Southern. And as with any aggressive serve, whether it be a top spin or jump float, the more aggressive you are, the more chance of error. It's a risk-reward ratio. Rhett Robinson serves and serves one in the net. So there's that double negative you spoke about yeah. earlier. Service error, service error. Well, with that one, I meant, you know, if the ball never lies, but then the ball never lies again. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, as far as the score, keeps it even here. And, again, Rhett Robinson's first serve out was an absolute laser. Just skimmed the tape. So high risk, high reward. Love it serves for Georgia Southern. Gators will go outside of Victoria after a great pass from Canaan. And Sophia Victoria terminates. It's 17-9 Florida. This is the key, I think, Tom, when you face a team that might have a shorter block than you're accustomed to in, in your conference play, is to resist the urge to go out there and, and swing on you know, God-level offense and mm -hmm. instead be smart with it and take your time to develop your vision, as Sophia Victoria did. Trinity Adams with a great deep serve. She just checked in, forcing Jerome to make the pass. Gators will block the attempt from Powers. They will go to the right side to Rosser, and Rosser goes down the line, gets one in Florida's back left corner for the kill. And that's that speed again, not only from Rosser and her approach and her fast arm, but in Kaysen and selecting that set and delivering it low. If they can connect, 
that's definitely going to challenge the Gator block and defense at this Georgia Southern right pin. Eckert checks in, Florida three and serve received. They serve it at Markova, but it sails over McPhysic's head just to Markova's right shoulder. Florida 18, Georgia Southern 10. And as we've seen from Markova, not just here, but with her tenure at Syracuse as well, just because she's tall doesn't make her an easy target for the pass. She passes surprisingly well for a 6'5 player. Serve, forthcoming there it is from Bree Kelly. Pass made Jerome. Set to the right side, the slide play. There's Markova, just a one-on-one -on -one block, Grace Underwood. Take it back. She passes surprisingly well and blocks even better. Marina Markova, what a snag for the Gators in the portal. Bree Kelly, sophomore now, one of the team leaders. Here is her serve at 19-10 Florida. Pass Jerome, back left for Georgia Southern. They go to the tip shot from the... Middle blocker just behind the setter. Hendrickson made a rush at it from the back row. Couldn't quite get there. Credit to kill to Grace Underwood. I think her, Hendrickson would have been able to get a touch on that ball. Markova, we've seen this from her before, has the tendency to reach back. If she gets a touch on the block, she wants to make a second contact from the ground. I don't think that's the smart play. Serve for Farthing, who just checked in. And uh, another service error. 20-11, Florida with a nine-point lead. Easy open for this match for the Gators, especially in comparison to the last two opponents. But still, there are points where Florida really has to tune up moving forward in the match. Sir for Stuckey, pass made, diving, love it. To the outside to Jerome. Stuff block, one on one, Bertie Hendrickson. Oh, it's out of bounds. Called out. Boy, she was there and just, it <laughs> went back right off her hard. It was a huge block for sure. Landed on the opposite side of the court from us, and it looked as if it was right on the line, but the line judge signaling just outside. Just a bit. Just Missed a it by bit that outside. much. <laughs> Here's the serve for Ainsley Clifford. Uh -oh. Trouble. Trinity Adams plays it beyond the end line. Hendrickson from the left side. Tried the roll shot, just missed it. Bertie Hendrickson gets a chance to swing in practice, but she certainly does more setting than hitting. Have to expect all of the shots that aren't perfect sets for her to swing away on to be uh, a little fuzzy to start off. Clifford swings, her serve, and sails it long. That's the sixth service error here in the opening set for the Golden, excuse me, the Georgia Southern Eagles. And if you take those service errors away, we're looking at a 19-21 game. Florida's going to have to keep that in mind, tighten up a bit on the off-speed shots when they have to, mm -hmm. and the block timing on solos looks good, but closing to the right side if they want to keep this clip. Canan checks in and serves. Pass made to Jerome on the outside. Dug up by Canan, but Florida's in the net. And talk about cleaning up. We've already seen more net violations from both of these teams in set one of this match, and I think the Gators had all of their last match combined. Serve forthcoming from Callaway Kaysen, the transfer from Ole Miss. Junior from Villarica, Georgia. The only Eagle to play in every set for the Eagles at this juncture. Canan passes. Nady Okamore, who's in, is blocked. Somehow, Victoria keeps it alive. Stucky sends it across with two hands. Played by Farthing in back right. Out to the outside to Jerome. Tip shot. And off the block attempt there of Bertie Hendrickson at the right pin. It goes to the ground. Bertie was on her way down and the perfectly placed tip. Bertie tried to make a play and just couldn't come up with it. Looked like Jerome was on the way down, too. That's got to be a hard ball to time. But how about number 13 in the middle, Baylor Bumford, stepping in and taking that Okamore swing at the middle? This time, Okamore goes around the block attempt and in the net. It's called on uh, number 13. That is Baylor Bumford. Last year, all Sun Belt first team selection called for the net there. It's Florida 22, Georgia Southern 15. And serving for the Gators is Ellie McKissick off to our right beyond the end line, left side back. Pass made by Lovett. Kaysen sets the right side. There's Jerome down the line, dug up by McKissick. Dig goes across the net, played by Lovett. Georgia Southern goes right side to Rosser. It's blocked. Played up. Block coverage there. Farthing to the right side. Rosser taps it off the blockers. Birdie sends one, and Victoria gets one on the outside, and another net violation called on Georgia Southern. Called on Callaway Kaysen. So the net violation, we've been racking them up here in this first set as the Gators get to 23-15. An eight-point lead late here in the opening set as the teams will play to 25, win by two in this best of five, three out of five. Of course, if we go to the fifth, it's only 15. 
forcing another timeout here from Georgia Southern head coach Chad Willis. We'll take it along with the Eagles of Georgia Southern. You're scoring the opening set here in the Sunshine Invitational. 16th ranked Florida 23, Georgia Southern 15 on the Gator Sports Network from Learfield. Without my new heart, I would have died. You have helped. Save my life. So in, in hitting errors from Hendrickson on her roll shot when she was off the net, etc. Expect as we finish this one out and move into set two, both teams are going to clean that up and make adjustments. I think that there's some exciting volleyball ahead. Maybe a little more so than you would expect in this matchup. Here we go with Ellie McKissick serving after the Georgia Southern timeout. Their head coach Chad Willis out of timeouts. Serve, pass made Jerome, it's shanked. Service, ace, set point, Florida after the ace from Ellie McKissick. I want a free T-shirt. He asked. <laughs> Learned something pretty neat there in the in the break. Emily Canan used to barrel race. We heard over the uh, the jumbotron here. Interesting. Serve from McKissick at set point. Back to back aces to end the opening set as Ellie McKissick sends one in the back left. Too hard to handle for the passer there for Georgia Southern and the Gators take the opening frame by the count of 25-15. Her serve receive and back right actually now and love it middle and left is Powers. Here is a serve from Canaan to open up the second set. Pass made, love it and back middle. They go to the middle, swiped across the net by Mumford. Out to the outside, Gators go to Victoria and Victoria kills it. Got it through the block, one nothing Florida. No matter how much you practice that, that's a tough ball to deliver from Ellie McKissick who has to take the ball off of setter Alexis Stuckey to run the offense. In doing so, off her arms backward to the left pin. Serve Canaan. Pass Lovett diving to the ground to make the play. Set to the middle. Tapped across by Bumford. Played up by Victoria. Gators go outside to Victoria. Off hands. Stick save. One-handed save by Kaysen. Gators will go to the right side. Here's Rhett Robinson down the line and she'll hit it off of the libero in back left. Love it for the kill. Rhett Robinson with the kill. Didn't see very much offense off of Robinson in the first set. Now it looks like Stuckey's trying to work her into the offense a little bit more to spread out the Georgia Southern block, make them focus on all three positions across the net. Serve is too long as Lovett in back middle for Georgia Southern lets it fly by. Service error, Florida two, Georgia Southern one. Third service error on the day for Florida. Serving is Lovett. Team high, 16 service aces on the year. Pass made McKissick in the Florida bench. The line judge had to get out of the way for Victoria to play it. Robinson sends it across with two arms. It's a free ball opportunity. Near the net, there's Essex blocking the ball on the middle's Underwood. Out to the outside goes Georgia Southern, and Florida's in the net. Looks like it was Gabby Essex based on her reaction in the huddle. Saw a roll shot from the Eagles at that left pin, and it's so easy to try to reach forward to take that ball if you're blocking. Love it, second in the NCAA with over a service ace per set. Georgia Southern yet to re record a service ace today. Florida makes the pass, one-handed set from Stuckey to Gabrielle Essex who buries one going to her left, Josh. I was going to comment on Ashlyn Lovett's serve. She got a very aggressive serve. You filled in some of the stats there. Credit to Florida for being able to handle that ball. And then Alexis Stuckey, one-handed set. That's commitment. 
Serve forthcoming here is from Ellie McKissick left to right. Her two service aces end of the first set. They will go to the middle, and the quick middle set in front of the setter, Grace Underwood. It's called out. The Eagles looking for a touch call, none forthcoming from the up official there, Michelle Prather. It's 4-2 Florida here in the second set. Gators already up one set to none. We'll have a challenge already here in the opening moments of set number two from Chad Willis, the head coach for Georgia Southern. Last year, the Eagles had their most wins since 2013 with a mark of 17 and 11. Willis now in his fourth year at Georgia Southern. They're picked third, Josh, to finish in the Eastern Division. That's a big conference, the Sun Belt Conference. So this is a team that Chad Willis has going in the right direction. No, no doubt. And, and you can see that reflected in, in how effective they are from the service line. They're very aggressive serving. You heard uh, Mary Wise say that that's a, a reflection of the opponents that a team plays. But looking at some of these jump serves, particularly from Lovett, from the, from the jump top spin from Emily Jerome, they're very strong from the service line. And when you add to that, Kaysen running the offense and having, again, Jerome with a heavy swing at the left pin, and then Roser at the right side. Robin Roser, the lefty, who we've seen very fast in her footwork and a whip of an arm as a lefty. That I would imagine when you combine that kind of offense and that kind of pressure from the service line, Georgia Southern is going to look good against their opponents in the coming season. The two teams have met on three previous occasions, all under the term of Mary Wise here in the orange and blue. All the meetings have gone 3-0 UF. The last meeting was 2014. It was the season opener, August 29th. UF, 3-0. And uh, this is, uh, we heard ETSU head coach Benavia Jenkins as well as the UNF head coach say, we want to take a set off of these Gators. That's one of our goals. And and even one coach went further saying, we just want to have Mary Wise call a timeout in a set. <laughs> we want to rattle them. We want to play loose. We want to play with a lot of, and there's the uh, the challenge is in, and it's been over, it's not been overruled, if you will. The play stands as called. So the point goes to Florida, the attack air, no touch. Well, that was a low set to Underwood at the middle. She had to drop her elbow forward. It was a strange contact off of her arm. So I could see anybody looking on, maybe thinking that it was affected by the block. So here's the serve. But we've seen that out of Georgia Southern. Just going to let it all hang out here as they go to the right side to Rosser. And she hits it off of Victoria and Bree Kelly for the kill. There it is, that fast arm. And as a lefty, she can turn across her body and take advantage of that block. Use the block for a kill. We call that a tool. Saw that there. Robin Rosser had six kills, no errors in 17 swings their last match. Here's the serve for Meredith Eckert, who's checked in. Pass made by Diving Canan. Tapped down to the floor by Bree Kelly. I didn't know if she was going to extend all the way up and get it, but she did, and just went straight down. She had to use that reach. It looked like the ball was traveling past her to her left. But that's a smart choice. A lot of hitters will try to rush the swing and get a contact on it anyway. Kelly instead, like you said, reaching up there and tipping the ball down. Smart move. Bertie Hendrickson checks in and serves here for Florida. Jump float in the air. Pass made by Eckert. Not a good one. Out to the outside they go. The roll shot by Powers is played up by the Gators. Gators go middle. It's blocked back. Gators played up. It was Hendrickson. Slide play. Bree Kelly down the line. Bree Kelly delivers. And then gets a big hug from Alexis Stuckey. Kelly up in the middle on that first contact on a one ball off a beautiful pass from Emily Canan. And then comes down and calls for the slide right away. Stuckey hearing the call, delivering that fast offense for a one-on-one -on -one situation at the right pin. Back-to-back -back kills for Bree Kelly as Bertie Hendrickson's serve just floats long. For the Gators, fourth service error on the day. It's Florida six, Georgia Southern four. And serving, stepping to serve is Rebecca Farthing. Looks like we're going to get some interesting offense here out of the Gators. Take a look at this, Tom. Might have Hendrickson running the offense here. Not sure if she's crept up in the pass. Nope. Well, service error. And, and we've did. seen this. Back-to-back -back service errors by the two teams. Yeah. Weird. And it, and it didn't seem like it. Henderson was up there to help communicate the pass, but then she it looked like she was immediately going to drop back to a defensive position. We've seen Alexis Stuckey swing before, mm -hmm. so I thought for a second we, we might, might see be that. seeing yeah, might be seeing a little switcheroo there at the center position. Okay, here's Trinity Adams serving for Florida. Pass made by a diving farthing out to the outside to Jerome. Stuff block, Bree Kelly! And then Alexis Stuckey celebrating. Giving her a friendly shove from behind, but showing up. 
how much grunt Alexis Stecky can put on the ball. She put a little bit of that on Bree Kelly, almost knocked her over. Against Stanford, she had 10 block assists. Against Minnesota, Bree Kelly had one block solo and six block assists. And here's the service error for Florida's Trinity Adams. It's Florida 8, Georgia Southern 5. High error from the line for Florida so far. Add that to the list of things that need to be cleaned up. There are teams that this, this Gator squad will face that will not allow high error play. Serve for Grace Underwood, pass Ellie McKissick, Florida. Florida goes outside to Markova, and Markova delivers the blast. Florida nine, Georgia Southern five. Look like the outside transfer from Syracuse. Liked that set off of Stucky. Unloaded on the ball, Tom. Angle shot that looked to be over the Eagles block. Serve forthcoming here for Bree Kelly left to right. Pass made farthing. Case has to play it off the forearms, out to the outside to Jerome. Played up by Markova and back middle, right at the 10-foot line. Markova now readjusts, tips it across. Played up first contact by Bumford, then to the outside to Jerome, and Jerome misses everything, trying to go down the line. Markova had to step in and take that strange first contact. It looked up weird, the didn't block. it? And then, <laughs> then she almost looked like she forgot where she was for a second. Wait a minute. Oh, I've got to get out and hit. And lo and behold, <laughs> the ball finds her. Bree Kelly serves. Gators with a five-point lead. Here it is, left to right. Pass, high arcing one, played by Lovett. Set to the outside. Here's Jerome. Gators block it. It was Essex along with Stuckey. They get a good block cover. Jerome sing, swings at it again, played up by Trinity Adams. Gators go middle, and Essex really whiffs on it and says to Stuckey, that's my fault. On that, on that set, Tom, Alexis Stuckey was back toward the attack line and behind where she would normally set, found Gabby Essex very well on that 31. I think Essex wanted to continue to swing to her left, mm. causing that miss. Serve for Kaysen. Shank pass Markova. Somehow Stucky got a hand on it. Markova swings, and Markova just misses from the 10-foot line on that kind of weird-looking play. When you have a setter recover a bad pass like Alexis Stucky just did and put it up for a hittable ball, now... Not a perfect set by any means. It was kind of an uppercut, put it up there, but high <laughs> enough to swing, right? That's a hittable ball. I was going to say it was a hittable ball. Yeah, it's a hittable but ball. But the way he described it, she's diving and yeah. laying out horizontally right. and makes the ball a playable situation. But here's the deal. Like I said, not perfect by any means. Right. That's when you have to recognize that as a hitter, and you do not miss the court in those situations. Exactly. Stucky sets the outside mark of a high off hands. It's the kill for Mark of a make it six. Leading the hit parade to this point in the match. 11-7 Florida. And I guess if you do miss the court in that situation, the best way to respond is by coming up with a kill on the next play. And the setter went right back to her, didn't she? Stucky said, here's one. And now she serves to Stucky for the Gators. Kaysen sets the middle. There's Gabby Essex one-on-one -on -one saying, Bumford, not on my watch. Tried to find Bumford there. Kaysen did uh, from behind. And that's uh, a hard ball to hit a quick set on when you're looking back over your shoulder and then having in your blind spot a blocker like Gabby Essex. Yes, indeed. Physical blocker at the net. Pass farthing. They go outside to Rosser on the left pin. Diving to make the play is Trinity Adams in front of us. Flat-footed on the ground. Sent across by Markova. Kaysen goes to the outside. Jerome dug up by Adams, and the ball goes across the net. Georgia Southern runs the offense right side to Rosser. Dug up by Adams again. Gabby Essex loses a joust. Gators play it up and over. It was Stuckey. They send it back with two hands. Rhett Robinson went up to try to challenge, but it goes as a kill for Emily Jerome. Robinson clearly frustrated as she comes down from that play, but did everything she could on an overpass to get up there. Got to give her credit for even trying. Most balls hit the floor, but how about Trinity Adams putting in work defensively in the middle back? Serve forthcoming for Jerome. High toss, top spin serve, pass McKissick. Stuckey gets the ball, gets it out to the outside to Robinson. Dug up by Lovett and back left. Georgia Southern runs the offense to the outside to Paige Powers, and it's blocked by the Gators' Bree Kelly and Markova. Low swing from Powers, bumped up off the net as it came in and hit the net toward right into the waiting arms of the Gator block of Robinson and Essex. Canan now will serve for the Gators on the court with Stuckey, McKissick, Robinson, Essex, and Victoria. A lot of different lineups we've seen early going in this season for Florida. Out to the outside, Powers dug up, Stuckey off the forearms. Sophia Victoria just pushes it across with two hands. They go to the outside, Powers fists the ball over, played by McKissick. Stuckey sets the outside, Victoria swings, played up by Stuckey as the block came towards her. Out to Victoria, she swings, Jerome collides with Lovett. The Rosser right side attack played up, and Essex somehow, McKissick got to the ball. 
And we have a center line violation. No, illegal contact double hit called on Florida. Interesting. Interesting I didn't see a double hit, but. Must okay. have been on the third contact, sending it over. But okay. Ellie McKissick flying in out of nowhere. Gabby Essex probably should have been out to challenge that ball, but McKissick took it as it rolled out of the bottom of the net. Love it, sirs, for Georgia Southern. There's an ace. We mentioned it earlier, second in the NCAA at 1.07 service aces per set. It's the first service ace of the afternoon for Georgia Southern. It's Florida 13, Georgia Southern 10. This one's in the net, though, for the error. Normally, I'd say it's fair to trade aces for errors from the service lines. But, but when you uh, are facing a team like Florida, might want to say two aces to one error is an appropriate ratio. The Eagles have some work to do here. Three in service for the Eagles. Powers, Jerome, and Lovett left to right. Here's a serve for McKissick. Pass by Jerome. Cut off. Powers to the right side. Rosser blocked. The big block. Sophia Victoria with a big smile on her face as she was in on that block. Gators first team to 15 here in the second set. Already up a set. We'll step away for this timeout. Again, Florida 1-0. In the second, it's Florida 15, Georgia Southern 10 on the Gator Sports Network from Learfield. Next time you order... A little riskier. We've seen her serve long a couple times, but she looks dialed in now. Pass made Jerome backing up. The libero has to play the ball out to Powers, and Powers on the left side got the kill. For Paige Powers, fourth kill on the afternoon. Make it morning. It's not afternoon yet. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say. Still feels pretty early for some reason. Maybe just because I'm not accustomed to call it. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's pretty early for NCAA volleyball. Serve fourth coming here. She just checked back in. Meredith Eckert for Georgia Southern. Pass made. Canan in back middle. Stucky sets the right side. Brett Robinson is blocked. One on one. The block for Paige Powers. Powers had Robinson's number on that. Rhett Robinson saw a lot of court. She made the right choice in the respect that she saw she was one-on-one -on -one and swung away, tried to find the angle inside Powers. Powers leaned in and took it away. Florida 16, Georgia Southern 12. Here's the serve for Meredith Eckert. Deep, far side, past Victoria. Set to the outside to Victoria. Angle shot, missed it. And circling, 16, 13. Sorry, circ Josh. No, that's quite all right. Circling back to that huddle talk and in, in how to score and make the best of transition plays, that's one of those situations. When you've got a ball that you don't know if you like, that's not when you swing away. Pass Canan. Stucky barely had to move. Sets the outside. Victoria this time down with authority. Kill for Sophia. Make it her sixth on the morning. She may not have liked the last set as much, but this one I'm pretty sure she was pleased with. Buried that ball, as you said. Bertie Hendrickson checks in to serve, the two-time Missouri Gatorade Player of the Year in high school. Can play almost every position on the court, and here's her serve. Pass made, set to the outside. Here's Powers, angle shot. McKissick got a hand on it, but it shoots out of bounds behind the end line. Paige Powers has come alive lately. Well, she's putting the heat on the ball, but you also have to credit Callaway Kaysen. Great pass you know, to, to set up that play, but Kaysen finding the left pin with pace. That was not a tall looping set. She was running that speed. Paige Powers, who got the last kill, will now serve. She's up to five kills on the day. Here is her float serve. Pass made, Canan. Stucky runs the slide play to Kelly. The blockers touch it, played up by Powers. Slide play the other way, Underwood. Gators got a hand on it to keep it alive. It was McKissick, rolled across by Sophia Victoria. Georgia Southern plays it up, goes back to Underwood at the right antenna, and Florida's in the net. Sophia Victoria trying to block at the left pin is called for the net violation. Mary Wise up off the bench, not happy what she's seeing in the sequence as it's now just down to a two-point lead for the Florida Gators here in the second set on the net violation. So we have... A timeout called for by Florida head coach Mary Wise here with just a two-point edge for the Gators here in the second set. Gators opened up the match with a 25-15 win in the opening frame. Here in set two, the score, Florida 17, Georgia Southern 15 on the Gator Sports Network from Learfield. Gator Nation.
just need to stop giving away points. Back to you. Thank you very much, Josh. Here's the serve for Powers after the Florida timeout. And it's long, but not by much. Victoria at the last minute said, mm, not going to take that one, and it paid off that time. 18-15 Florida. Tom, Florida's got to get Georgia Southern scrambling a little bit more, it seems to me. The Eagles looking just a little too calm and confident in running their system, whether it be out of serve receiver in transition. Love it, Farthing and Eckert in serve receive. That's Eckert. Love it had to make the second contact. They get it across. Stuckey takes a swing. That just looked bad from the get-go. They made three consecutive saves to get, get the ball across the net, and Stuckey in the front row can take advantage, Josh. The biggest return on investment to get a team scrambling is from the service line. If you can serve aggressively and precisely, then you can do that without working too hard. Serve for Trinity Adams. Set to the outside for Jerome, and Jerome missed it wide. That ball came in between the net and the outside of the Gator block. Not very much room there. Birdie Hendrickson was all over it. The bird dog on defense signaled that it was just wide, but not by much. And it looks like we're going to get a challenge. Okay. Maybe not as wide as everybody thought. Maybe not. We'll have to see. As, But oh. the good news is we get okay. a chance to talk about some volleyball here as Trudy Adams actually has a volleyball in her hand. And she it looks does. Like we're getting ready to play we're again. Playing again. After the uh, challenge, then the Georgia Southern timeout. We're ready to resume action. Trinity Adams, Bertie Hendrickson, Ellie McKissick, Stuckey, Kelly, and Markova on the court for Florida. That bottom dropped out. Pass made. Out to the outside. Jerome with a tip shot. Henderson Hendrickson behind the block plays it up. Markova swings, and a great one-arm save by Lovett. They'll have to send it across. Stuckey swings. You can't do that, unfortunately, Meredith Eckert. She sent it right up in the plane of the net, didn't get it over Stuckey, and Stuckey delivers with the blast. And I understand what Eckert was trying to do. If you send that ball to the right front for the Gators, maybe Stuckey handles the first contact, and then the Gators have to run out of system <laughs> offense. Well, Stuckey handled the first contact all right. You stole my thunder. She sure did. Serve Adams, pass made. Eckert sets to the outside. Jerome swings, caught some net, and falls out of bounds far side. So the attack error makes it Florida 22. Georgia Southern 15. Gators almost caught an unlucky bounce on that one. That ball only landed about a foot wide of the sideline. And I was premature, Tom. Looks like we're going into we're another We're going to have another out. break. Well, this time, the Gators on a 5 nothing scoring run. We thought the challenge might break it up. We thought the timeout might break it up. So now we have another Feels Georgia Southern timeout here as the Gators reaching and trying to get a 2-0 lead here as we play in the second set. We'll take a timeout with your score. Florida 22, Georgia Southern 15 on the Gator Sports Network from Learfield. With Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. Well, I think for our next set, I'm going to send Josh up with the wireless and maybe talk to one of the teachers and see what it really means for some of these kids to uh, get this opportunity that some might not have. Yeah, and, you know, I was talking with a couple fans prior to the match in anticipation for these students arriving. And sometimes we take for granted just how lucky we are to be exposed to high-level sports here at the University of Florida. It's not something that most people get. Sir, for Adams, her fifth this turn in the rotation. Pass made. Tip shot across on the slide play. McKissick plays it up for Florida. Gets out of the way. Mark of a tip shot. Second contact for Southern is Eckert. Sent across by Jerome. Played up by Adams of Florida. It goes over Bree Kelly. Somehow, Mark of a got it across the net. Free ball set to Jerome. And Jerome from the left pin with a heavy arm. Kills that one on the angle shot. A little too much that time for Trinity Adams to handle. Well, maybe the prolonged break in play benefited <laughs> Georgia Southern. They came out a little fiery. That, firier, is that a word? Yes. They came out a little more fiery than they left. She's more fiery. You have to say it with a Scottish accent. Fiery. She's fiery. 
Here's Ainsley Clifford checking in, serving for Georgia Southern. Pass made McKissick. Stucky dumps it on second contact with the left hand for the kill. That's the opportunity you have when you have a 5-1 setter. She's in the front row. She can choose to set her, her hitters or if the pass, and I would encourage that this happen on a perfect pass, because that's when you expect the ball to go to a middle or something, then they can t take the ball over on that second contact and catch the other team off guard. Emerson Hoyle checks in to serve here for Florida. Freshman out of Arden, North Carolina. Pass made there by Farthing. They go outside to Jerome. Essex got it blocked. They dug it up and played it up on a good block cover. It was in the plane of the net. Essex took a swing and missed it long. It's easy to get excited on that kind of play, but I would even argue that that may have been a lift from Georgia Southern catching a, a favorable call or at least a, not catching a call on that one. Serve for Georgia Southern's Kaysen. Florida goes out to Markova. Angle shot kill for Marina Markova. Yeah, I'm still here on the court, Mark blasting away. Markova loves that angle shot. We see her hit that far more frequently than the line. And teams try to take away the angle with their block, and she can outreach so many of these opponents. Set point, Florida. Here's the serve for Alexis Stuckey. And she serves it in the net, then shakes her head kind of with a, oh, shucks attitude. You don't want the service errors. Obviously, you know, any any unforced error you want to try to avoid. But it's the hitting errors in situations like that with uh, Gabby Essex up at the net that you really want to clean up. Second opportunity at set point for Florida here at 24-18. Here's the serve for Jerome. It's in the net, of course. We've seen this this afternoon, I should say. I keep saying that. It's still morning. This morning we've seen service errors. Ten now for Georgia Southern, six for Florida. But with the service error for Jerome, the second set goes to Florida, 25-18. And the Gators, Georgia Southern now to our left, Florida to our right. Here's Lovett serving for the Eagles. Pass made, Victoria high in the air. Stuckey tracks it down, goes right side to Rhett Robinson. Put it in the lap of Lovett. She dug it up. Back row attack, Jerome. Roll shot played up by McKissick. Stuckey sends one to the middle. And Nady Okamore just misses going to her left. Didn't miss by much right in front of our location. So Okamore starts the third set along with Stuckey and Robinson along with McKissick, Kanan now, and Victoria and serve receive the last three. Stuckey sets one to the outside. Victoria is blocked. She's blocked by Grace Underwood. Up alongside on her right shoulder was Robin Rosser. 2-0 Georgia Southern. After that first point, Florida looking for the touch on that play. No challenge from the bench, but starting off just a little shook. Here's a serve for Lovett. Caught the net. 11th service error of the day for the Eagles. Georgia Southern 2, Florida 1. Gators up two sets to none. And you can see there, Tom, right away. Eagles come out swinging away. And just that one service error affects the momentum, takes the wind right out of the sails. Serve forthcoming. Here it is from... McKissick, shank pass Jerome, second contact Rosser, Jerome back row, roll shot, played up by McKissick in back left, to the outside goes the Gators to Sophia Victoria, off the block attempt of Grace Underwood, kill for Sophia Victoria, we're tied at two here in the third. Sophia Victoria looking like she was accelerating through that approach, taking her time, not rushed, seeing the block and then using it, Tom, hitting that high hands instead of trying to bury the ball. McKissick serve is in play, pass Jerome high in the air. Set to the outside, here's Powers. It's played up by the Gators. Second contact, McKissick with the forearm. She was in front of the 10-foot line. Roll shot, Rhett Robinson, played up by Lovett. Out to the outside, Powers blocked by Rhett Robinson. Bree Kelly on her left shoulder, but Rhett Robinson celebrates the block there. And I have to say, Robinson had the right idea on that set. It was too far inside for her. I would love to see her open hand tip instead of roll shot. She gave Georgia Southern just a little bit too much time to recover that ball but definitely stayed in the game and finished out with a huge block. Florida on a 3-0 scoring run to take the lead here in set 3-3-2. Kaysen goes right side to Rosser. Gator blockers touched it, Stuckey. Off the forearms of McKissick to the tip shot to Victoria, and Victoria kills it. And there's the open hand tip from the Gators' left pin. So much easier to direct the ball. You have so much more control. And unlike roll shots, if you make a full approach and a reach, the ball doesn't necessarily have to go up before it comes down like it often does with roll shots. McKissick's been on a roll today serving. She's serving the Gators back into the lead here. Kaysen has to scramble, gets it to the 
Middle blocker who tapped it across, caught some net for Underwood. Gators go to Bree Kelly. Bree Kelly just straight up, straight down with a kill. Kelly pushed over into the three zone on purpose, of course, by Alexis Stusky. Taking advantage of having both blockers from the Eagles having to close in order to put up a block and just not fast enough to get in front of Bree Kelly. Here's Ellie McKissick. Gators on a 5-0 scoring run behind her serve. Pass made, love it, diving to get it. To the right side to Rosser. Hit it off Victoria, it landed on the floor to side. Kill for Rosser. Give her her fifth kill on the day for Robin Rosser. Rosser so fast with that swing. I mentioned she's got a whip for a left arm and that's a frustrating contact for a blocker when you go up and the hitter gets the ball just a touch before you expect and just kind of dies in between your elbows and the block. Not much you can do. Meredith Eckert serves. She just checked in. Canan with the pass for Florida. Right side attack. Rhett Robinson. It goes high in the air and played up by Victoria at the last minute. As across the net. Victoria swings and Victoria misses. Caught some net and spun out on the far sideline. Emily Canan up ready to take that ball from Victoria, perhaps allowing Victoria to get a fuller transition and a better look on the set. Here's a serve fourth coming from Meredith Eckert. Left to right across your radio dial. Pass made, Canan. Stuckey sets the outside. Victoria off the double block. Played up behind the block by Eckert. Outside to Powers. Gators get a hand on it. Played up by Canan in back right. Stuckey sets the outside. Sophia Victoria down the line. Played up by Eckert. Played it above her head. Powers swings. Powers hits the ball in the net. She probably would have been stuffed by Bree Kelly, who is there patrolling the middle for Florida. But it's an attack error. Florida 6, Georgia Southern 4. You're absolutely right, I, and I'm relatively certain that's what she was thinking as well. Trying to hit that low angle inside the block hard, but didn't have room to do it. Bertie Hendrickson serves for Florida and just serves it long beyond the end line for service error number seven for the Gators. It's 6-5. Gator lead trimmed to one here in this third set. Must win opportunity for Georgia Southern down 0-2. Seeing a Georgia Southern player from just down the road coming in to serve Ainsley Clifford from Ocala. Played for Vanguard High School. Pass made, McKissick. Stuckey sets the outside. Victoria blocked. Good block cover, Canan and back left. Stuckey takes a swing, but then Stuckey follows through in the net. Bree Kelly thinking that the net was forced into Stuckey by one of the Georgia Southern players. We're tied at six. And I was going to say, look like they were trying to plead the case of the bench, but Florida's not interested in challenging. They want to see the Gators gut this out and get ahead on their own merit. Clifford serves, pass Victoria high in the air. McKissick has to play it off the forearms. Out to Sophia Victoria. And Sophia Victoria with a laser beam about two steps inside the left sideline for the kill. Sophia Victoria showing exactly what she can do when the pressure's off, she can slide out, get that nice full approach. She's got a beautiful long approach and a great swing. When she doesn't have to worry as much about the first contact, she can really devote her attention to that offense. Here is the serve forthcoming for Trinity Adams, who's back in the match for Florida. Also, Markova is back in. Kaysen sets the outside for Georgia Southern. Tip shot, Jerome. Played up by Bertie Hendrickson. She gets out of the way. Stuckey took a swing. Dug up by Lovett in self-defense. Jerome, roll shot across the net. Played at Trinity Adams for Florida on the dig. Gators go outside to Markova, and Markova tries a tip shot and tipped it right into Grace Underwood, who blocked it. We've seen some interesting, let's say, choices on off speed from Markova. She obviously blocks very well, hits very well, but when she's had to tip, she gets dangerously close to the blocking zone. This time it didn't work out for her. Underwood serves, pass, Trinity Adams. McKissick, Markova swings. Kill for Marina Markova. That set was inside, Marina Markova almost ran a slide on that one. It looked like she was off of one foot off her left leg there. When you're as tall as she is, 6'5", with long arms, you can afford to do that and still have a lot of court to work with. Yeah, I wish I was that tall. Serve coming for Bree Kelly. Beyond the end line, that means Okamore back in the match for Florida. Pass made and back left by Ecker for Georgia Southern. They will go to the outside to Jerome. Gator blockers touch it, played up by Bree Kelly behind the block. Gators go to Markova on the outside, and she just didn't quite get on top of that ball and sends it long beyond the end line. Tied at eight. Interesting choice by the Gators there and taking Alexis Stuckey all the way to the line to take the line away. Bree Kelly, after serving, comes up and almost plays tip coverage behind the block. And off of that quality touch, the ball was fed right to her, but the Gators couldn't produce. Callaway Kaysen serves, pass Adams, sets to the outside to Markova. Markova down the line, blasts away. Wow, look out below on that one, Josh. I like that quick set to Markova. It wasn't a shoot, but Stuckey had to come closer to the left pin 
and didn't lob the ball up. Instead, kept Markova moving quickly. Just a low, even set right into Markova's swing. Here's Alexis Stuckey serving for Florida. Rhett Robinson back on the court. Right side, Jerome for Georgia Southern, played up and back left, back right, excuse me, by Stuckey. Gators go to the right side, Robinson, the block touched it, played up by Lovett. They go to the right side to Rosser, Markova touched it, played up by a diving Adams to Markova, angle shot, dug up by Lovett and back left. Jerome will just steer it across with two hands off the forearms. Brett Robinson, tip shot, pancake save, Lovett. Jerome swings, blocked by Nady Okamore. All, Along with Rhett Robinson. All the action on that left front for, for Georgia Southern. And not a contact high enough, allowing the Kaysen to move against the flow and get to the right side. Okamore recognized that. High IQ there, closed the block up, and just finished the play. Here's Alexis Stuckey at 10-8, Florida. Pass made, far side, Clifford. Tipped across, but we have a back row attack back. violation against Georgia Southern. Kaysen went up, tried a, a one-handed set along the net, open-handed tip almost. Wasn't her intention for the ball to go over, but it did. 11-8 Florida. Stuckey serves her third time this turn. Pass Clifford. Second contact, love it because the pass wasn't great. Rosser from the left. Touched, dug up by Adams for Florida. Markova swings. She's blocked. Gators cover the block. Okamore, now Markova. Red Robinson swings and gets the kill from the right side in a scramble play. Hands down, best competition swing I've seen from Rhett Robinson. The transfer definitely can hit. I've seen it in practice, seen it over the summer in open gyms and camps. This is the first time she's been able to... Net, Tom, talking about ways the block can get even more involved, seeing some great hustle from defense, but the Gators want that play stopped at the net. Back to you. Thanks, Josh. Here's Stucky serving. Pass made Clifford. The libero has to play it. Out to the outside to Rosser. And there's Nady Okamore on the block. Rhett Robinson on the right shoulder. There it is. The talk in the huddle was more about how to block in transition more effectively and make the job easier for defense. But clearly, there are ways to get the job done when facing the first serve-receive attempt as well. Stuckey, pass, love it. High in the air, Rosser. Jerome sends it across, a free ball opportunity for Florida. Right side, Rhett Robinson. And just missed it. Attack error for Robinson, it's 13-9. Florida with a four point lead. Must win situation, Georgia Southern down 0-2. And checking in is Paige Collins, sophomore out of Atlanta. Has only seen action in three sets to this point. And she'll serve here. Her serve in play. Pass oh. made McKissick, shanked it. <laughs> that was a weird looking contact. How did she get it off I, to her left? And I, to be clear, I'm laughing at Ellie McKissick's reaction. A couple quick blinks thinking, what, what did I just do there? That ball was landing in the back right corner over McKissick's shoulder. McKissick just flinched a little on it. Another great serve from Paige Collins. Rosser gets the kill on the overpass. These are the situations that if you're Florida, early on in the season are red flags, if you will, for things that need to be highlighted and fixed immediately. You can't come out of timeouts and be dropping serves. Pass made, Gators go middle, Nady Okamore delivers. Florida still has wiggle room, but it feels to me, even despite that huge kill out of the middle, that Georgia Southern, since the timeout, has been carrying the momentum. Some blips in the passing. We heard from Dave Booz earlier that in the serve pass battle, the Gators rely on the serve more than the pass. But you got to clean that up and give your setter an opportunity to run the offense. Canan with the serve. Overpass. Somehow Victoria plays at the last minute before it went to the ground. Victoria with a roll shot. It's partially blocked. Played up by Lovett. They go middle and Bumford hits the ball in the net. Bumford had no option there. That ball came off of Kaysen so low. She even tried to drop her arm and get a tip on it, but no dice. Yeah, she dropped that elbow quite a bit. Had to hit it up into the block, as he called. Canan with the serve. Pass Lovett. Right side, Rosser. Off the Gator blocker's hands. Played up by McKissick. To the middle, Okamore redirects and gets the kill. Nady Okamore. 
making the most of her court time with a third kill. And having to make an adjustment there, going open hand and tip. I mentioned earlier how effective that can be, even more so when you've got a player out of the middle that gets a perfect set and can swing away, but doesn't. That's crafty. Three in service C for Georgia Southern. Pass, love it. Set to the outside. A swing on the outside for Shambly Russell, who's in the match. Rhett Robinson takes a swing, hits it off the block attempt of Russell and Underwood for the kill. Rhett Robinson's got a lot of good looks on the swing. This is, what, her 11th or 12th, but starting to look more comfortable in doing so. We've seen the kill, we've seen hard driven angle shot, and now tooling the block. Good work from the transfer right side. And a bigger part, that was Bumford in the middle in that rotation, a part of that block attempt by Georgia Southern. Gators on a 4 nothing scoring run here behind the serve of Emily Canan, forcing the second of the two timeouts allotted to Georgia Southern head coach Chad Willis. He Pressure. This is where they stand ahead of, of Georgia Southern and in their size and physicality at net play. After the timeout called for by Georgia Southern, Canan to serve again for Florida, right to left. Here it is. Pass made and back left by Russell to the right side to Rosser. Off of Okamore, played up by Stuckey. Second contact at the Florida bench. Mary White had the move. Canan sent across by the Gators. Free ball opportunity. They go to Rosser, this Georgia Southern. High off the block. Played up by Canan, patrolling the back row. Stuckey sets the outside. And a kill on the outside for Sophia Victoria. Make it number 10 on the day. Sophia Victoria punctuating a long rally with some more explosive defense from Florida. Emily Canan running all over the place. Sideline to sideline. We saw that <laughs> bench to sideline. We saw that from Trinity Adams earlier, but Canan stepping in. Here comes a ball played across by Russell for Georgia Southern. Free ball opportunity for Florida. Played by McKissick to the middle. Okamore blocked. Block cover McKissick. Out to the outside to Victoria. Short approach. She made the swing. One arm save in the back row for Georgia Southern. And a kind of a weird set out to Russell. She had to try to arch her back to get to it. And Russell hits the ball into the net. Looking for one of those beachy roll shots that we mentioned earlier and that both coaches were expecting. Florida putting up a huge block and not allowing that. I think it was just too much pressure for Chamberlain Russell to overcome. Pass, love it. Back set, right side, Rosser for Georgia Southern. They're looking for a touch, no call forthcoming. Florida now putting the pedal to the metal. It's 20 to 11. Just think, this set was 8 8, and now the Gators have stepped on the gas. And where does it come from? Blocking pressure, forcing errors. Shank pass. Kaysen has to play the ball off her forearms, and that one is outside the antenna. So the wheels starting to come off a little bit here for Georgia Southern in this third set. A double digit lead for Florida at 21 11. Just think about it, Tom. When you watch teams warm up and they're hitting lines against no block, everybody looks phenomenal. But when you put somebody up in front of them, that changes everything. One-handed set. She saved the overpass Did Callaway Kaysen. And there, up in the air ready, was Baylor Bumford. Bumford didn't have anybody to face on that one. And it looked quite like hitting lines as she bounced the ball. 21-12 Florida. Here's the serve for Ashlyn Lovett. Pass, McKissick, not a good one. Somehow Stuckey got one hand on it. Bumped across by Canan. Free ball opportunity for Georgia Southern. They go outside. The swing there for Russell, dug up by McKissick, but it'll fall to the ground harmlessly. Doesn't seem like the overlap between Canan and McKissick is quite as clean as it could be. A couple contacts there where one took the ball from the other. We saw it again in that last exchange there to give Georgia Southern the point. Wet spot on the court where the Gator blockers came down. Rhett Robinson pointing it out to the young lady out there with the towel and cleaning it up. Stuckey gives her a little pat in the back, says, nice job, let's, let's, let's play. Third serve this turn for Lovett. Pass made McKissick for Florida. Stuckey for Florida, sets the right side. Rhett Robinson wow. dug up on the angle shot. Rhett Robinson sends it back across. Did she swipe hands? No, she missed it. And everybody, yeah, I think we're going to get a challenge from that. Everybody in the gym thought that that was off the top of the block. Great back-to-back -back contacts by Robinson. Thundered that angle shot down. And then when the ball came right back up above her, waited, mm -hmm. stretched out, and tipped it off the top of the Georgia Southern block. Okay, so we have the challenge by Mary Wise of the Gators here, saying that there is a touch as Robinson and Florida... There was a touch, so the uh, 
the kill goes to Florida's Brett Robinson. So it's 22-13. And credit Robinson with her fourth kill on the day. While fans might be disappointed to, to hear that Beeson is not playing, I liked it to see Rhett Robinson get this opportunity, and she's making good on it. McKissick serves. Pass far side, Russell. Set to the right side to Rosser. Bree Kelly patrolling the middle, got the block. That's been the biggest difference from that 8-8 mark that you mentioned earlier, Tom, is the Gator blocking. Man, when they are on, it, it changes matches, particularly here in the O'Connell Center. Serve fourth coming again for McKissick. Double-digit lead for the Gators. Georgia Southern goes right side to Rosser. And it's in! Block for Sophia Victoria. We're at match point. Those last few points went by quickly. Not a lot of back and forth over the net. Serve goes over and does not come back to the Gators' side. McKissick with the fans on their feet here in Exact Tech. First opportunity at match point for Florida. Georgia Southern runs the offense to the outside. Russell swings. Dug up by Canan. Across the net, Russell swings again. Dug up by McKissick. Stuckey sets the outside. Victoria. And she got it in. What a way to finish. Sophia Victoria with her 11th kill ends the match. And I was going to say, what a way to finish for the Gator outside. Victoria early on in the match, kind of feeling her way there. But second half coming alive at the left hand. And way to finish for the outside for Florida. This morning match is in the books as the Florida Gators have won it in three straight 25 50